at Digital Harbor High School. And among other things, he is very involved in, in student politics. Uh, he cares a lot about affecting change across the city, uh, improving the lives of other students, uh, and working to, to really create opportunities. So he works uh, both at North Avenue, uh, which is the, the headquarters for the city schools and the Office of uh, Learning to Work, and also in the mayor's office, he is a, a district youth commissioner. Uh, Shaquille has been involved in state uh, politics as well with, with different initiatives, and he's here today to talk a little bit about why he does uh, what he does. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I am honored to be here this morning to speak with you on a specific topic called leaders. Um, I came here in sixth grade. I lived with my grandparents in South Carolina. It was not going so well. The learning was a little bit slower in the community. So my mom decided to move me here with her. And so I'm now here with my mom. I've been here for four years now with my mom since sixth grade and it's just been a life changing. Um, since then I have done several things, I have worked with several people, and it's just totally, the climate is just totally different from South Carolina and Baltimore. And so I'm here today to talk to you on leaders. My story, school politics. When I came here in sixth grade, there was a such thing as student government. I joined the student government because I believe that I can make a change within the community itself and the school itself. Things, problems that go on in the school, I believe that, I believe to never give up. I don't give up. I try my best until a change happens. And so I worked with the Student Government Association at, at my middle school, Crooked T. Washington Middle School of the Arts, and now I'm working with Digital Harbor High School Student Government Association this school year. My story, city politics. Um, my friend Cody Dorsey, he had introduced me into the mayor's office, which now I'm working with, and it has just been wonderful. Last year, I joined the mayor's office while um, becoming a district youth commissioner, which I go out to different rec centers. Because the mayor has been closing down several rec centers, I tried to give her an opinion of why not to close the rec centers and why youth should have the opportunity that they have. And so I've been working very hardly with her. And Mr. Hoy, the tech center, the rec center that she was closing down, I was so happy to hear that Mr. Hoy was going to turn it into a tech center. And so that was very, very nice to know that he was going to do that with that rec center. But several rec centers are closed down, which have led to violence, people getting killed, people getting shot. And that, that, that can just not happen. And so I believe that the tech center will bring more healthy initiatives to students who will bring after school clubs for students to go to after school. It will just bring better opportunity to youth in Baltimore City. My why, leadership. I worked with a program last year and part of this year called Widenwell Youth Media. Um, I made videos, I have did things with attendance around Baltimore City. Um, I have worked, Wideangle has just been wonderful. Wideangle has introduced me to some skills that I would have never known of in my life until I joined White Angle Youth Media. They came to my school one day, they gave a presentation, and I was very interested. And so I, this is part of my leadership role within Baltimore City is working with White Angle Youth Media. My why, motivated. I have attended several conferences around Baltimore City, which one like this one today, this is so motivating to me to sit here and here and sit here and see this and this give my opinions and my speech and this to sit this is a pleasure of being here today and it, it motivates me to do great things um i recently went to a entrepreneurship conference at morgan state university um with the the, the way michael he was a very inspiring speaker um this all, these conferences all around baltimore city just inspires me every day to do great things my why, technology. technology. We didn't have a lot of technology in South Carolina. We had one computer per classroom. Here, I've had the pleasure of, work, of being at Digital Harbor High School where we have several computers. We have programs that 
I would have never even thought of. And so the technology that I have in my school, I'm very grateful and I love it. It's, it has just been a wonderful pleasure. I'm doing programming now in my school. I'm learning how to program um, with SQL and I'm learning how to make different things using programming. And so I'm enjoying that. My why, a good chance for academic achievement, advancement of progress. First, you have your opportunity. Opportunities are not given that often, but when you have the opportunity, take it. I was given the opportunity to have the job at the city school headquarters as a, what am I, a student liaison at North Avenue, and I have worked with the middle school and high school principals to come up with a plan of how they can get youth more engaged in learning at their schools. Um, that has just been a wonderful change for me. And so I came up with this, this sort of chain here. Opportunity. After you are given the opportunity, there comes the problem. The problem, you can defeat the problem. So when you're given the opportunity to do something, take it. Because you never know where you can go with it. My six topics of why I am me, change, freedom, leadership, motivation, technology, and opportunity. Those are very important to me. Failure is not an option. Um, last year, I have a story from last year, I failed my algebra class. Um, and I went home and I showed my report card to my mother and she was like, oh no, that's not good, not good at all. And so what she did was she came up with a plan that I would pass the class, if I didn't get a 70, I would at least pass it with a 65. And so she motivated me to do better in that class, even though that class was a struggle because the kids and the teacher, and I, I was very on the earth to fail in that class. So I went home with a failing grade, and my mother has inspired me so much. I love my mother. She is sick at this time right now, but thank God she's still here. She motivates me to do great things, my dad also. And so I went home with the failing report card, and my mother said, what can I do to get this grade back up? So she introduced me to University of Maryland, the tutoring program, um, which I'm doing now, and I, my grade has just been tremendously awesome within my classes. Um, after that, I realized that failure, I can't afford to fail. I can't afford to let down, I can't afford, I need to get my grades up, because I want to go to college and I want to graduate and I have big goals in my future. Um, thank you so much. You can find me on Twitter, my Gmail, my website. Thank you so much.